Good morning everybody, Claire here. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing really well. Um, so today I thought about making some of these just to hang off of your journals. Absolutely perfect. I mean you don't have to have these clips. You can use anything you like, a bit of string, a um, bit of ribbon. So I thought, let's get making some of these. So all I've done is I have a template because um, I use them for all my ribbons and my um, silks um, for my slow stitching. And so I thought, let's get it made. I've already made a load there, but I'm do some with you now so all I'm using is some um, 12 by 12 card um, what I don't really want to use anymore um, I can't find a use for them um, but I actually brought this paper pack um, to use for my master boards and things like that it was three quid for 24 sheets um, so I thought it was perfect for you know using for all these different ideas so all I'm gonna do is draw around here and, oh, she says without moving it couple done I might actually choose some different paper as well we've got those let's have a look see what we've got in here oh, i love this burnt orange it's nice green oh, some of this blue Even some of this blue just tear a strip off so we'll see we don't want to use it all no point taking it all out of the pack. Excuse my arm. So if you can hear the noise in the background, I've got my heater on because it's a bit nippy out this morning. I thought I'd try and get a bit of filming done. Now the kids have all gone to school. Not my kids, but other people's kids. And I'm waiting for a parcel from Amazon, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to try something new out with you guys. And um, I've actually got fabric tape, um, which is for binding. So we're going to see how good it is um, for my journal that I'll be making with you guys um, obviously I've already started the front cover Yeah, so, but I will be doing the spine and the back with you. Um, cause I've got, I'm thinking about maybe on the back actually doing a tree because the journal cover is basically, um, I'd say, at the bottom of, uh, at the bottom of the garden. So you've got your wildflowers, your um, bumblebees and things like that and I was thinking about doing a nice tree um, and maybe a picket fence along the back cover so it's different scenery going all the way around all right so I'm just gonna slip them up but you'll catch my drift once we start doing it I hope so yeah how are you all doing are you busy crafting or just relaxing with a nice cuppa or are we having to go to boring work when we know what you really want to do <laughs> is 
hang about and craft. I uh, just use pot a minute just to throw my scrap in. I'm just going to cut around the edge. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm, when I'm trying to think of, you know, videos and I don't want to be repeating what everyone's putting out there at the moment and trying to think of new ideas. I mean, I'm not claiming that I'm the first to do this, but I'm having trouble going to sleep because it's like my brain's like on overdrive. And then I was like, last night, wrapping all my um, pure silk ribbons around my actual, wherever I put it now, around them, and storing my container. And um, I was like, oh, I know what I could do. <laughs> we'll do some of these. And I mean, you, can, you could actually use it to store your ribbons. And then you scrap ribbons and you just put a slit in the top. Or you could cheat and buy a load of these and just decorate them up. That's an Fun, is it? I'm keeping an eye on um, Daisy Doodles. She's out there playing. to do is bring my um, doorbell out with me. That wasn't very clever, was it? I was going to say the only thing that they won't, might not be able to post is the actual um, tape. All the rest I'll be able to put through the letterbox. Really there. I mean, you could even. Well, now let's see how it looks afterwards. Put it on top of um, paper clip, so you can have it sticking in your journal. Daisy was on one last night. She was zonked out on the sofa after a walk. And then she decided that she was going to come to life. And um, right at bedtime. And oh, she had me in stitches. She was coming, coming right up to my face, <laughs> making this silly noise. <laughs> and then I'm going, look, it's bedtime. You need to go to sleep. And she'd like do this like little whine. <laughs> I'm going, no, it's bedtime. I'm thinking the last time I had to deal with something like that was when my children were little. 
And I'll go, come on, bedtime then. Oh, but mum. So yeah. The person we brought her off of um, said that um, she's definitely got um, a bit of um, sort of spunk about her personality. Yeah, we're seeing it. We're definitely seeing that. Three months old. My husband, when he came home last night, he goes, so how did she go to the vets? And she went, oh, she's done really well. I said, she's definitely putting on weight. Since so we're three months old, she's seven and a half kilos now. And he went, oh. <laughs> I went, yeah. I says, um, goodness knows what she's going to be when she's um, like six months old. And then a year old. But she's got like big long legs now. She's growing so much. Right. Okay. Fabulous. We've done that bit. So now all I'm going to do is go along with, make sure I've got the right one, go along with my hole punch and just go through. Make sure I get it sort of central. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with my vintage photo. as well yeah so um, she's growing fast she got a bit told off yesterday because um, in the afternoon I let the three goslings out in the garden um, obviously in a safe place so that Miss Daisy couldn't get there because um, she thinks everybody's her friend and she wants to play with everything so I was like trying to explain to her <laughs> she couldn't and she was there bouncing up and down like a kangaroo trying to get in there but the weird thing is it's like soon as she comes up towards their like their little bit they like run to her it's like they've sort of embedded that imprinted on her oh, let me just press pause a minute right oh she's in hopefully she'll settle down in her bed because she hasn't slept much this morning only she has her morning nap as well so, yes, um, I can't remember what I was saying. See, it's just distracted me. So, yeah, there's, um, we've given them a, like a big um, sort of bowl with water in and they're in there wading in it and everything. I was like, oh, this is so cute. But they've definitely got a thing for Miss Boo. Uh, not Miss Boo, oh. Sorry, that's my my old girl, um, Miss Daisy. <laughs> Nearly there. Can never have enough. Can never have enough. one just make sure I'm still filming oh, I am right okay oh that didn't work out very well did it okay so next job is get the bit of staining she 
she says. So it's my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. I'm just going to go around the edge just to get rid of the whiteness. So I'll just get them all done. <laughs> so you can press press pause and skip a bit if you want. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I don't mind outside much. to a sec. So no point in having a little heater on. Oh. Oh, Daisy Doodle. Oh, back up again. Oh, I'm still filming. <laughs> I thought I pressed balls. do them all. I won't torture you with my um, <laughs> colouring. So, let's put those to one side. That's the ones I've done. Next thing is I had some of these old ones. So I'm just going to use these um, eyelets to go in there. Cook it through there. You don't have to use eyelets. You can use um I forgot the word reinforcers. So you could use them, just make the hole a little bit lower down. Um oh, oh. Did that lock? No, it didn't. I brought these ones really really cheap a long time ago um, so I mean you could use your um, we are memory keeper ones if you've got them but I'd rather use up these for these little sort of ideas I 
did I do yesterday afternoon? Sat out in the garden after I'd done all my filming. I just sat out in the garden. And then when my husband came home, we went. We had our dinner, and then we took Miss Daisy out for a walk. And then oh, watched a bit of Yorkshire Farm. She liked that. And then my husband watched, I think is it called Syndicate? It's where a load of people brought a lottery ticket and it was a jackpot. And the owner of the shop decided he would look up to the girl who was quite naive and said, oh, you've won £500. And like being really excited because like 500 pounds a lot of pennies to her she took it without and it wasn't it was 25 million and he went off abroad and left his fiance to try and pick up the pieces and now she's out there and they're out there trying to get in lottery investigating and <laughs> i've got my headphones on watching me youtube <laughs> Right, okay, so we've got that. So I've got different types of strands. So you've got your baker's twine. I've got some of this. Then I've got some silks. Um, I've even got, I mean, I don't know, this might be a bit too wide for it. Um, yeah, just a tad. But just maybe having a little bit of... Um, Actually, that fits just right, doesn't it? A little bit. I like that. Okay. We'll do a bit of this on there because that's really nice. Just going around once. Right. We're on a roll now, guys. <laughs> so that's nice. I actually like that. Why didn't I think of that before? Right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a squidgy of glue going down through there and hopefully, she says, we can get both pieces. Oh, I've got itch. Excuse me. Oh, I like that. What else should we do? I have got a bit of burlap that I wouldn't mind having a go with. I know it's a bit wide, but it won't be when I've finished. Cut it to there. She says. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull along that edge and that edge and hopefully that's, I need to take a little bit more off so I can look, see how it looks. shall we? Take that there. That's better. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go along here because obviously I don't want it fraying here just across there a bit and I'll just put that one on there now I've got my hand 
ones in the glue. Just a little bit across here. Sorry if you can hear the voices in the background. Let that dry. That's really nice. And then obviously you can put something on there. We'll have a go at that in a sec. And then I have... I think this one's too wide, isn't it? Yeah. But we have... Some of this. So... I could use... Just make sure it goes around... Enough. Oh, she says. I don't know if I like that. We'll try something different, shall we? And then I've got some of these. This is not me putting it in the packet like this. This is how I was giving it. <laughs> um. nice right okay so I'm just gonna put a bit of glue on the back so I'm using my fabric tack just put that there rub it down and then we're gonna go in there and then start winding that one and then we have let me just put this out of the way so we have that one and we have a bit of the crew let me find the end see if I can find the end she says oh I found a look at that I found a needle in it it's a bit bizarre there. <laughs> up there. Have a bit of this. Uh, we're going to go for dark red. Yeah, let's go for it. This will be tall. There's that one. Oh. And then we'll use a bit of baker's twine. I don't know if I want to use a bit of baker's twine. I quite like that. Okay. 
the darker side. Just a bit of glue to catch it. And then it won't do a runner. Oh, I've put it on the wrong side. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine in there. Okay. green and so you could even put um, Christmas um, ribbon around these autumn you know with the pumpkins around so you can actually use them um, for IDs all the way around the year. liking these. Right, so we're going to do a bit of baker's twine. So we'll get some of this. And do the same again with our glue. a bit on there Ooh. okay bit of glue Stick in now. Just snip that little bit off. Oh, she says. And there's that one. And then, so we've had that. Um, we have so we've got some of this and we've got some yellow baker's twine I don't know if I want to use that or we could have I've got some sat here maybe a bit of this she says or some of this as well. I don't know, we'll come out and done that way. Hold on, hold on, guys. I'm just gonna put 
bit of that off. Might be a bit too heavy. She says. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that was. What have I got in here? I've got more needles. <laughs> got some of this. Do it on the red one so it's got that Christmassy effect. Okay, wrap that around there. I know it's like months and months away. Soon comes around quick enough, doesn't it? Right, okay. Oh, let me just finish my cup off a minute. Okay, so we'll have, let's see what this looks like first. Might be a bit too bulky. Yeah, it's too bulky. No harm in trying, is it, guys? No harm in trying. Where did I put it? I think fabric would be nice on there. Look around a couple of times. Oh yes. I actually really like that. Let me just see what it looks like on here. Oh, I like prefer it on that colour. Right, so I'm just going to go in again. Like so. Do need to clean that lid. And then we're gonna go just plonk you there and start wrapping. Not too many times. Cut that a bit short then, didn't I, Claire? advance for Christmas. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like so. Oh, I've done that too short again, haven't I? Just come back one. Come back one. Okay. Just pull down there for a second. Right, okay, so that's the ones we've done so far. Really like these, they've come out really nice. So, and then the next step would be to decorate. So, you can either do like I've done, I've just you know, the pages that we use, just taken out a number because a lot of the times that when you're doing embroidery, the silks all have code numbers for what they are, and I thought. That would work nicely. So all I'm doing is just getting a page 
I'm just gonna snip the numbers off. Um, diary so you can put words on oh, so we've got here Whatever words we've got here. Mm. Right, let's just do these a minute. So you saw catch my drift. going to go around the edge I know I've got a little bit on there just to make it stand out and scooch that across there and put that one there small words as well so I might do some with I think I've got some which got some numbers on on words I'll have to have a look see what I got through my little pots so yeah this is the fiddly bit but it's so worth it a minute. Another one with numbers. Fiddly fiddly. we have let me see if I've got any um hold on one really moly my little ones are in here let's have a look shall we Oh, I'm dropping them now. She says they might be too big, but I could cut them down smaller. Actually, the wrong colour, but I have got them in the right colour, I'm sure of it. I have. Oh. Okay. Obviously, we can cut them down a lot smaller than can we to fit.
joy. Not joy. I have a bit of joy. Joy. And I'm just gonna trim that down so it fits and go around with my so you could use dictionary words as well that would be another good one because obviously dictionary words are smaller so I'm just gonna go something else out a minute. I don't know if these are going to be too big. make space. <laughs> need to make space. Right, let's try and fussy cut. Oh, sorry. It's me drinking coffee. I'll just try and fussy cut around this a bit better. She says. She says. This is the most boring part. It's fussy cutting everything. <laughs> boring. Oh, I like that. Right, we're just going to go around with a bit of this. I need something more solid than that. it's going on fabric I'm using a little bit of my fabric tack to keep it in place Ooh. oh that's nice I like how that's come out and then we've got this one so maybe Let's get one of Tina's some shabby dabby doodahs flowers. Let's see if we've got a flower that we can put on there. It's a bit big. Oh, this one's smaller. Let's see, I'll trim it down a bit more. <clears throat> Let's get snipping. Move you out of my way. some breakfast in a sec because I feel like my tummy is going to start grumbling stand out especially on this lace okay I 
Thanks. No. And maybe... No. Yes. <laughs> it was just there looking at me. So, just trim around these little loose bits where the one does. And a tiny little dot there. I like. Done, so we've just got a couple more. Oh, we've done those. Let me get my hooks. stab myself then I think I might do a stamp on one. I wonder how that would look. Might look stupid. I've got that one. I think I'd like another butterfly there. It's a bit too big. A bit too big, guys. Oh, I've done it up. I have. <laughs> Right, okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, it's too big, too big, too big. What else do we have? Didn't quite fit there perfectly. Oh. Okay, right. I think we should just do numbers because I quite like the old numbers for the book pages. Let me see if I've got one. Get the numbers are at the bottom. Be a lot easier. This is just my blue book, so I'm not too um, worried. I do apologise if you can see anything there. I hope you're not reading too much. <laughs> Seeing if there's a word maybe we could use. Never is, is that? Never is. I don't know how long we've been running, guys. I do apologise. I'm getting sick and tired of this. Oh, 
family. Family, that's a nice one. Okay. Nearly there, guys. I haven't got a clue how long I've been running. Feels like forever, 56 minutes. <laughs> right, okay. So we've got that one there. Any number? Right, let's do these last bits. Where's my duster? Oh, I lose it. Just going around those edges. Fabulous. Slide along there. That one, and then this one, which is very tiny. Very tiny. Slide along. Oh, come on. Oh, I've got it stuck to my finger. Oh, this doesn't want to play now. Right. <laughs> and then just go along the edge of this one. Okay. Slide it on in. I mean, I don't know if you could actually. I know I'm going on now, aren't I? <clears throat> if we could actually attach it. So, you know, like you go down. Paper clip. Might quickly just glue one together. We'll see that. We'll see how it looks. Right, might look really good. Okay, so that's those. Let's find, I want to go dark. Let's go dark, I like dark. Okay, just trim, just trim a little bit around this edge. So that's the only thing is you'd have to make sure they match up once it's glued in place. Be fine, wouldn't it? We're gonna go for it, guys. We're gonna go for it. So, Stick that 
screen, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go over here. And here. Oh, she says. Let's have a go, shall we? As long as I get those holes lined up. everywhere now. That's fine. It's fine. Right, okay. I just think it needs to just come out a bit more so it can sit on top. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get wherever I put those. this doesn't do a runner I just don't like that colour being a fast pot now aren't I that's the end right let's put a bit of glue on there Number Let's go across the top. Just cut the number out a minute. Nearly done. Nearly done, guys. And then the glue is off. Relax. Oh. I really impressed myself. 
So, and then obviously it would go, where is my book? Here, sorry. So obviously it would go, let me open these out. So this is all the stuff I've been doing so far. this going like that <gasps> I love that <laughs> and then if we had with me whole puncture Little dude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Stick a couple across there. I like that one. Stick this one here. Stick the butterfly on there. And then I've got a fabric one. Oh. So now we've got these ones. even slide them. No, we're not going to bother. <laughs> I'm not bothering. That's the original. There we go. So I'll just slip this one off because this one's left today. But I want to put a Christmas thing on there for the Christmas theme. There we go, guys. So, fantastic choice. So, you can either turn it into an altered paper clip or a little dingle dangle. Right, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you ever so much. If you have, um, don't forget, thumbs up, like. Obviously, with the thumbs up, um, you can share if you like. It'd be amazing if you would, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Have a most wonderful day, and I will see you later. Take care. Bye.